What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video I want to show you a brand new plugin from Denise Audio. This is Poltergate. I generally don't get excited over gate plugins in classic Denise Audio style. This is much more than just a gate. Yes, it can handle your basic gating needs, but we've got a transient shaper on here as well as EQ. And this really allows you to handle your drums where you don't need any further processing in some cases. Uh, so let's go over the controls and then I'll let you hear what it can do. Uh, so start off with this curve slider here, zero to 100%. This is going to change the curve of the release of the gate. You've got a dynamic section where punch is going to affect your attack and fat is going to uh, affect the sustain. And then you've got additional attack and duration here. Clip as well that you can set. D-bleed, this is going to allow, this is a two band, you got your high pass and low pass here. And you need to move these to activate them. Uh, but you can handle D-bleeding here for the low and high end. And we've got standard uh, controls here for a gate. You got your threshold, floor. Uh, this return is going to set uh, the difference between the volume for when the gate opens and closes. Spike, uh, again, is adding um, attack to the side chain. You got your additional, uh, traditional attack and release here. And interestingly, you can set the release to time-based or milliseconds here. Uh, look ahead, which is a nice feature to have on a gate as well. And then across here, you've got your EQ settings up here at the top. You've got your different bands you can select here. Uh, this uh, reverse is going to reverse. It's going to allow you to monitor what is being gated, uh, which is nice. And then these headphones here allows you to monitor uh, the incoming sidechain signal. All right, so I've got the polter gate on this kick and snare, and we're listening to just the kick and snare here. And right now, let's bypass it. And this is just the kick and the snare without it being gated. All right, let's turn on the poltergate now. All right, a little bit of EQing that I'm doing here. We see we've got a about an 8 dB boost at 94 hertz on a shelf. This is on the kick. And let's see, not doing any on the snare. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab, yeah, 1.2 is good. Give it a little boost there. And we'll also take this, let's set this to a high pass and let's just roll off uh, some of those lows here. All right, I'm gonna play it again and let's bring them in and out. All right, going back to the kick, let's see if I did any, yeah, just a little bit. Uh, let's mess with this uh, punch and fat here on the kick drum. So you can definitely hear the sustain there on the fat. All right, I'm gonna show it to you now on a drum loop because what Poltergate did to this, uh, when I wanna say drum loop, uh, some drums that I played in by MIDI, just completely transformed it and made it something usable for me. Uh, let's take, uh, let's check that out. Okay, in a new session here. Uh, so I've got the Poltergate bypassed and let's listen to it and then I'm gonna bring it in halfway through so you can hear what it's doing to the drums. Uh, this is just on the kick and snare on Let's see this track here. All right, let's listen to that solo now. Uh, so this is again 
uh, without Poltergate, and then halfway through, I'm going to bring it in. So we're getting a lot of snap on the snare drum and the kick is also beefier and more forward now. And just look at what I did on the dynamics. I brought up the punch and fat about halfway. And on the EQ, I've got a 15 dB low shelf boost here at 90 Hertz. And to bring up the snare a little bit, I got a 4 dB boost at 3K here. So Poltergate, even if you don't use it as a, as a gate, these transient shaping uh, options, you can see what it did to this, just this kick and snare here, where, I mean, without it, it just feels lost in the mix. So you got your basic gating, which is great. The transient shaping as well as EQ, you can get away with so much processing without having to pile and pile plugins on. Like this handles a lot for you with your drums, and I really like that. Definitely going to be my go-to gate uh, for now on, and definitely the most feature-packed gate uh, that I've seen. If you want to check this out, I've got a link for it in the description. If you like this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. If you're interested in having me mix your song and my mastering engineer, D. Lyles, master it, Check my link tree in this video description. From there, you can email me, you can visit my website, and check out mixes that I've done.